Welcome to the Sail Our Time to Pause podcast, part of the Plexus Corps of the Salvation Army. I'm Neil, and I'm joining you to present this little thought for today. I will stop and breathe in your presence, just breathe. Have you ever really counted your blessings? It can be really easy to think of the good things that God has given us. And then just as easy to quickly forget again. And in forgetting, we have a real risk of not only not remembering, but failing to benefit from those blessings. I want to think about an example. An example of a whole people who really failed. Think about the children of Israel. God led them out of Egypt and they saw wonders that nobody has seen before or since. They saw the Red Sea parted. They were fed with manna in the desert. They had a pillar of fire that led them by night and a pillar of smoke that led them by day. When they fought battles, as long as Moses' arms were lifted up, they won those battles. Moses was able to bring water out of a rock They didn't have to worry about either the National Health Service or water companies. All they had to do was look at the bronze snake that Moses carried on a pole, and they were healed. The list of great things that they had seen and experienced went on and on. They had so many blessings. And yet, if you read the book of Exodus, what did they do? They moaned and they whinged. So much moaning and so much whinging that they never reached the promised land. Counting your blessings is important. It helps you reach the promised land. It means that you choose to focus on the goodness of God rather than on potential problems. You choose to give thanks in all circumstances rather than murmuring and muttering about the little things. It means that you choose to rejoice rather than worry. It's natural for us to focus on our problems. But when you begin to thank and praise God, even in difficult circumstances, miraculous things happen. And the Bible gives a very clear example of that too. It's what happened to Paul and Silas. They were flogged. They were imprisoned. Their feet were fastened. And what did they do? Did they grumble? Did they whinge and moan? No, they prayed and they sang songs praising God. They sang so cheerfully that it attracted the attention of the other prisoners. The other prisoners stopped their shrieking in their pain and they started to listen to Paul and Silas. That's what happens when you praise God in tough situations. Your praises will draw attention of people around you. And then, something quite spectacular happened. In Acts chapter 16, verse 26, it says, Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. All the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. So many things in one verse. Not just an earthquake, but a violent earthquake. The prison doors didn't just open, they flew open. And amazingly, everyone's chains fell off. Not just Paul and Silas, not just those doing the praising, but all those around them. Their chains were loosened. Something really spectacular that God did. And if you read the rest of the story, Paul saves the jailer's life. Verse 29 says that the jailer called for lights and rushed in and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out of the jail and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? The prisoners should have been fearful of the jailer, but now it was the jailer who had locked them up, who had changed their feet, who had whipped and beat them. They should have been frightened of this man, but the opposite happens here. The jailer trembled before Paul and Silas. And 
he experienced salvation. Paul's attitude of praising and rejoicing and counting his blessings during that prison experience brought people to Christ. Are we able to do that? I know that on occasions, I've spent a long time focusing on problems. Maybe we need to spend more time forgetting those problems and focusing on counting our blessings. Doors will swing open. People will find Christ. I say that recognizing the reality that I frequently don't follow my own advice. I stack the problems in front of my blessings and God struggles to break through. I'm going to share just a couple more verses that remind us, me and you, all of us, to count our blessings. Hear these words from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Just imagine what might happen if we do that. So count your blessings, and God knows what he will do with that. God bless you. My God is slow to anger when I go astray. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. For all of my betrayals, he will not repay. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul Through mercy and compassion His great love is proved He covers my transgressions like the snow As far as east from west are all my sins removed Bless the Lord Oh, my soul is my God to me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And I will tell His goodness through eternity. Bless the Lord, oh This has been Selah Time to Pause, a podcast from Plexus Salvation Army. 
an online church in the UK. I'm Ian. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Sam. If you've enjoyed journeying with us over these last few weeks, join us every Monday. Or any day that works for you. To spend time together, taking time out to pause, catch our breath, draw near to God and refresh our spirits. We share Bible teachings, reflections on songs we're listening to, and on what's going on in the world around us. As well as this, on the last day of the month, we look back and reflect, share any thoughts from our listener community, and ask what we can take from it into our daily living. What we call our personal So What's for the month. Join us, making us part of your regular routine, spending a few minutes to listen to what God might be saying to you. Find us on your favourite podcast streaming service, on Facebook or YouTube by searching for Selah. That's S-E-L-A-H. Time to pause.